Hello YouTube. It's uh Bucket Help here and I just thought I'd give you an update on my server. So I've started up a new map because I decided the old one I've kept for single player. I've developed it too much, so if it ever became a server, uh too much of it had been developed anyways. So I've just go ahead and start a new map and we're going to stop this rain. And there we go. Just check if we have sound on. There we go. All right. Uh, so this is Spawn Town. It's Sky, or you could call it Sky Town, I suppose. Uh, I'll go ahead and start with the outside since it's night, and we have a little bit of a torch covering around all of the sides of the coastlines here surrounding the city. So you have nice light when you get down there from the spawn point at the city um, and a pretty cool thing is there's actually a dungeon right here and I'm not gonna touch it in case I do make the server public so someone can go ahead and find that and be all happy with their well I could say um, saddle or whatever's in those chests so you actually spawn right here in the skyscraper and what you do is the well, the roads are covered by glass here, and it's pretty nice looking. I love how you can just look down there and see the water. If you're not afraid of heights, it'll be great. Uh, to get down, actually, we have at the ends of the road, just go down this ladder here, and I've flown down, but you go slower than that, and then you can also jump off into the water. You got these little things right here, so I can just go ahead and bring myself up really easily. There we go. It's pretty nice. Uh, we have a big pillar in the middle, and just to keep it stable, just to make it look stable, we have these on all four sides, and... I'll go ahead and this is actually part of the train station, which I'll see later. So I'll start with the four sides and I'll go ahead and start with the business portion. So we have the business portion down here and select people will be able to pay money and use the land here and be able to run their own shop. And since it's spawn town it'll be a lot of economy money for the land plot. Um so this is actually my building here and I built this for temporarily just so people don't fight over the space which I imagine they will and uh, this is actually a pear style cafe I've created uh, you can judge by yourself if it looks good I think it looks pretty good in my opinion and we got in we have the cafe and I actually should you may sell some torches since I had not put any in here Let's just go ahead and put them here. You know, good to have light, don't you think? Especially since skeletons will be in here. And that wouldn't be good. So now that I fix this, I wouldn't show you upstairs. So if you were to rent out the upstairs, up there, there's a little apartment. Walk up your little staircase back here, and you got your beds, you got your kitchen, TV, a wardrobe, nice place to live, and you have a nice view of the spawn town. Uh, here we have the bank, and you just go ahead and go inside. Got chairs here, four bank tellers here. There's usually an iron door here, but I broke it earlier so I could get in. Um, we have this, the chests here, and here's the vaults. Go up here, and this is actually the vault, as I just said. I'm not going to show you how to open it, because nobody needs to know about the bank operators, which of the future, but if this goes public, so they will be of the future. Uh, next, I'll go ahead and show you the train station block. Um, that is down here. It's surrounded by nice trees, as you can see. Um, very nice trees. Let's just go ahead and go inside, and there's a sheep. I'll take your wool. Thank you. Uh, look at the front entrance here. It's a nice entrance, in my opinion. And go inside, and I need to put a door there. 
So we have the waiting room up here with a few chairs and all that. And leaves have actually grown in from another tree just now. And I just noticed that. Now up here there are going to be future things. This is actually the ticket area, but future, as I said, uh, there will be chests with uh, signs behind them, and you'll be able to buy mine carts as in the place of tickets. And once you've done that, you just go ahead and go down the main rail, and it allows me a pickaxe. There we go. Go down the main rail. Nice, pretty nice design here. Uh, so here's the main rail. And it's uh, very nice, in my opinion. So we have the stairs here, so you don't run into anybody with their minecarts. In the future, when I decide to finish this, there will actually be next station enabled here, which is a bucket plugin, so you can ride it like a subway and have an automatic entrance and exit system with your command. Uh, this is the tracks. One will go that way. One will go the other way. Waiting room here, nice area to look out. Yeah, pretty nice uh, there. So I'm going to show you the fourth block, and that is the pretty awesome portal room, and, or portal building, and uh, this is reserved for the portal building expansion, so we can give portals to towns in the future. So this is the nether portal and we'll be open that, opening that in 1.6 when we have nether multiplayer. This will need to be obsidian, I understand that. This one, I'm unsure where to decide where to go yet, so I've just edited it so it brings you back here. This one will bring you to a meadow. And we have the portal here, go back. This one brings me to a snow area. So you start in a pyramid, you walk outside, you're in the snow, and I used to command to make all this snow, so it's not truly snowing there, or rain if it's supposed to or not. Uh, here we have sandstone, and as you can imagine, this will bring me to the sand boim. So it's very quick. An easy way to go at go to which boy you need to go and to teleport back to spawn town if you don't want to use dash spawn dash spawn command. This is the unfinished part of this train station I had forgotten about, and it's going to be the employee area. That's future employee area there. So that is it for the server update. Uh, this is my new spawn town here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, leave your comments, ratings, or whatever you'd like. Tell me what you think. Um, and just to let you know, I'm using my currently used texture pack because uh, I want to show you what everybody would see if they were to have the default texture pack. The default texture pack seems to mirror most other texture packs, not all. So that that is why, and once again, rate, comment, it, please. It mm, lets me know you're watching my videos. You know, like them, dislike them, uh, don't matter to me. And if you'd like to see more of this, I make actually bucket tutorials, and I make videos like this once in a while. So this is bucket help. See ya.